most of the humanity goes about their life, blundering through their life, not knowing which way to go, is because they keep shifting the direction of their life too often. In their mind and emotion, it keeps shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting. The very nature of the existence is such that in this existence, there is energy and this consciousness. There is no such thing as physical matter. Physical matter, as you know it today, is just concentrated patterns of energy. Today, this is established science, but more than forty thousand years ago, when Shiva spoke, he spoke clearly. His involvement was in absolute consciousness or in the energy, never in the physical matter because he did not see it as real. So these are the only two things one needs to deal with. You are not doing the Surya Namaskar to build muscle. If you have to know the energy, right now it's concentrated in the form of this body. Only if you use it in a certain way, it'll crackle. Otherwise, it'll sit like a lump of earth. If this has to sit here and crackle, then it has to be kept in a certain way. So whatever the physical sadhana that you're doing is not to build muscle. If your energy skin crackle and your mind is focused, then this will just build in that direction. Because the mind is shifting and shifting and shifting focus, it does not know which way to build. The very life within you is confused. It doesn't know which way to go. I would say at least ninety-five percent of the human energy is waste… is simply wasted because most human beings cannot hold anything in their focus for any substantial amount of time. Otherwise, each of them would be opening up a new window, a new door to something else. Seven billion people, if they had all had their minds and consciousness focused, everything, just everything have to yield, nothing would be unexplored. If one keeps his mind, his energies and his consciousness organized in one direction for a certain period of time, he not only realizes the nature of this life, the past eighty-four creations that have happened, they are also here. Everything could be explored by human consciousness. Every day when your thoughts and emotions fly this way and that way, you keep changing your mind, changing your mind, changing your mind, you will go in circles. Because one who changes direction too often, obviously is not interested in going anywhere, isn't it? You want to be there? Be there, no problem. You want to be here? Be here. One who is constantly changing their mind is a torture to the himself and to everyone around, isn't it so? In the… right now you're thinking, tomorrow morning, I'm going to do my yoga. Tomorrow morning, when the dawn at five o'clock in the morning, then your body says, to hell with this yoga, all I want to… It keeps changing, its priorities keep changing and changing and changing. When it comes to body and mind, we're all differently capable. No two bodies are equally capable, no two minds are equally capable. But when it comes to this being, every being is equally capable of containing the very existence within himself that which is endless, that which is eternal, that which is boundless and that which is always expanding, that can be contained in this being. About that, no two beings are differently capable, every being is equally capable. It doesn't happen because you keep changing direction. Wherever you find a little niche which is comfortable, you try to settle down there. Do you see every time for different situations that you get into, different states of comfort or discomfort you get into, you develop a new logic? When we… if you want to try to climb the seventh hill, you climb a certain distance where your knees will be creaking and your breath will be looking like a… you know, a steam locomotive. Push, 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 it's going. The beautiful rocks, the bamboo around you and everything is so wonderful. 
the valley is so beautiful, what is the purpose? Taking one more step, this is wonderful, this is it. Your mind tells you this is it. It's… I'm not questioning the beauty of the place. I'm not questioning the pleasure of being there. But right now, this argument has come. This new level of logic has come in you simply because your lungs are working like a steam engine and your legs are creaking like an unoiled bullock cart. So, new logic will come. So, it keeps happening. That's why in a certain moment of clarity and joy when you are there, you look at something, what you see is your well-being, you stick to that. Tomorrow it looks like horror to you, it doesn't matter, you stick to it. It feels like hell, you stick to it. That's well-being. If you keep shifting, nothing happens. Namaskaram. There are some strategies to improve attention, helping individuals enhance their mental clarity, focus and effectiveness in their daily lives. Mindful meditation is a powerful tool for improving attention. This practice involves focusing on the present moment and becoming aware of your thoughts, feelings and surroundings without judgment. Regular mindfulness meditation has been shown to increase the brain's ability and sustain attention. Even just a few minutes of daily mindfulness practice can lead to significant improvements in attention over time. While it may seem like multitasking helps you accomplish more, it often leads to decreased attention and productivity. The brain is not designed to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Instead, it switches rapidly between them, which can reduce efficiency and increase the likelihood of errors. Focusing on one task at a time allows you to give it your full attention, leading to better outcomes and a more efficient use of your time. Taking regular breaks is essential for maintaining attention over long periods. The brain can only focus intensely for a limited time before it starts to fatigue. Techniques like the Pomodoro technique, which involves working for 25 minutes followed by a 5-minute break, can help sustain attention and prevent burnout. Time management strategies such as setting specific goals and deadlines can also help keep your mind focused on the task at hand. Cognitive training exercise such as puzzles, memory games, and attention-enhancing apps can help improve attention. This exercise challenges the brain and encourages the development of neural pathways associated with focus and concentration. Regular engaging in activities that require sustained mental effort can strengthen your ability to maintain attention over time. Creating an environment conducive to focus can significantly improve attention. Minimize distractions by organizing your workspace, reducing clutter, and eliminating background noise. With consistent practice and the right strategies, you can develop strong attention skills leading to increased productivity, better learning, and improve overall well-being. Namaskaram.